Do look at the camera or look at you? You look at me. Okay. Okay. People are going to be coming in and out. Oh, right. um, shh, we're filming! What? <laughs> we're filming! What? They're filming! My name is Ian Dembling. I'm a junior here at SUNY Oswego, broadcasting mass communication major. I am Matthew Crown and I am a he's graduating senior broadcasting major with a focus on advertising, marketing, and promotions. Hey, I'm Candy Goldberg. Um, I'm a junior broadcasting and cinema major here at SUNY Oswego. My name is Marissa Sarbach. I'm a senior communication major here at Oswego. My name is Chelsea Frisbee and I'm a senior broadcasting mass communications major with a minor in women's studies or gender studies now. What are some of your extracurricular activities? Okay, I've been anchoring at WTOP for four years now. WTOP 10. WTOP, WNYO, WTOP, WTOP, WTOP. I've been doing a lot of stuff with WTOP. Been an anchor, been a reporter, been behind the scenes, uh, been a producer, been a director, doing all the stuff that is involved with uh, a TV station. I am the social media director of WTOP. I also host the talk show The Zine. I'm also a co-host of the talk show The Morning Grind. Part of WTOP, so I'm the sales director for for them. I'm a festival coordinator at the SUNY Wide Film Festival here on campus. I am a Waterman stagehand for the um, theater. I spent fall semester in Walt Disney World. I was a lifeguard. I was operations and I was quick service food and beverage at the busiest quick service restaurant on property. The event director for our media summit here at school for my junior and senior year, so I'm actually passing the torch off on that one. I've also done the Disney College program as well. I'm part of the Chabad on campus, which is one of the Jewish organizations. They told us that you could start your own club um, on campus and when I came here I was a little disappointed to hear that there wasn't a, an a cappella group. Um, so I ended up joining a bunch of people who wanted to be in an acapella group, so that was really cool to be able to say, yeah, I started a club that was completely run all by students and it worked out pretty nicely for the first couple of years. I was an RA in Onondaga Hall for a year, really enjoyed that opportunity to try and uh, inspire other people to do, you know, go above and beyond and do really great things here at Oswego. Uh, this past semester I got a chance to study abroad. I went to Madrid for four months, uh, so I was spending the entire semester in Spain and then also traveling around within Europe and I went to Africa as well. Did you change your major? I did actually. I changed it three times. When I started out at Oswego I was a just, just a regular communication student and then freshman year I'm sitting in my dorm room watching Boomer and Carton on MSG. I think I want to do marketing so I switched my major to marketing. Like Some of the classes weren't as intriguing to me, I had to take accounting and I dropped that class because accounting does not work for me, unfortunately. And after I did that, I started thinking again, I'm just like, I really liked broadcasting and maybe just focus more on advertising, but more about broadcasting. So then I switched back to become a broadcasting and mass communication major. Why did you choose Oswego? I chose Oswego because I wanted to go to a SUNY because my parents had two other kids to go through, uh, to put through school. And, you know, I've known since I was six years old that I wanted to be Oprah. When I got to this campus, I just had a gut feeling that this is it. This is going to be the place that's going to prepare me the best for what I want to do with the rest of my life. When I was looking at all of the programs that uh, had exactly what I wanted, which was a journalism or broadcasting program, Oswego really stood out to me because of its alumni. Um, I remember seeing that uh, many sportscasters on Sports Center came from Oswego, as well as Al Roker, one of our most notable alumni. So that definitely helped, knowing that um, I was going to be in good hands, that there were people who were ended up being successful after coming here. I didn't always know that I was going to get into broadcasting per se, but I knew that we had a really good broadcasting program um, and a really good TV station. And I remember actually hearing about the radio station when I came here for Admitted Students Day. And surprisingly, I didn't end up going into the radio station, even though I thought it was really cool. I ended up picking TV, and I'm just really glad that I did. I'm not going to lie, this is probably the only place that I got an acceptance letter from. I came back to visit it again and then I'm just like, you know what, this, this place is, it's actually very nice looking. Once I saw that they had a great communications program, I decided 
why not? Let's let's go as far away from home and close to Canada as possible. <laughs> it just it had more things that I wanted to do. Originally I had looked at purchase and I was almost all set to go there, but one of the things that really made me look at Oswego was you had more opportunity. You know, in other schools you can't pick up a camera until your junior year, whereas here you have your hands on a camera and you could have your whole show your freshman year. I feel that I've definitely made the right choice. And I have not regretted it at all. Did you have any fears or nerves about college? Um, yeah, I mean, all throughout high school, everyone's like, oh, you're just a theater person, you do a little bit of film. So everyone was like, oh, why are you just, like, shying away? So I did at first get scared I was going to change my major over to tech theater in the beginning. Um, but I really discovered how, like, I rediscovered my love for film once I got here. Oh my god, yes. Um... I'm pretty sure freshman year I was in my room on the phone in tears when my parents was like, I, I made a huge mistake, I went away to college, I don't know if I belong here. I actually wasn't nervous until I got here, I think, <laughs> and then it started to sink in that we're, my parents weren't here, my brother wasn't here, and I couldn't pet my dogs whenever I wanted, so I don't know, it, it, I actually got nervous when I was here in like my first week or two, um, but coming here I wasn't beforehand. I. Gosh, I don't even remember. I'm so old now. Um, I think I was a little bit nervous about making friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you get over them, or how did you get over them? I think when I'm nervous, I'm overly excited. <laughs> I've always just kind of been nervous along the lines of I want to make sure that what I'm doing is completely right. I think. Being at Oswego and taking on so many leadership roles has so much uh, made me a better person. I definitely got over my nerves, probably like about a month into school after I'd stopped calling my parents every day. Um, I, I don't know, I just started to make friends. I did get over them. It did take time, but I made a small group of friends in, in Johnson. Yes, I was a Johnson baby. Started going to the hockey games, started getting out more. The fear just went away and I started just realizing that this is this is real life that I can't always be home. What's one tip you have for someone who's coming to Oswego? One tip for someone who's coming to Oswego, bring a coat, um, invest in some really really good boots, some winter boots. They don't have to be cute. Nobody looks cute when there's six feet of snow outside and it's negative three degrees, trust me. Do everything. Try one thing that you would never have thought to try before. Try the Disney College program. You never know um, what you might get out of it, and Disney was honestly the best thing that ever happened to me. I found my best friends for life there, and it was just, it was more of even a college experience than this was to me, because you were so far away from home. You know, my, my parents and my family, they're only four hours away here, so if I need something, I could go home or they could come here, but with Disney, you're totally on your own, and you're getting paychecks, and it's just like the real world, and it's just a great experience. What would you tell your senior high school self about college? Oof. Oh <laughs> a minute to think. My senior high school self was very like all over the place um, I was going here I was going there I was going here I was going there I didn't really stop to like sit back and enjoy myself to remember just once in a while just stop and enjoy yourself uh, have have those moments that you can say yeah I can take a break and hang out with friends I can go out and you know enjoy all that Oswego has to offer, it doesn't have to be work 24-7 because it really doesn't have to be here. You're more powerful than you think you are. That's what I would tell myself. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> what I would tell my past self would be just... just get up and go. I mean, for the first couple months of freshman year, I was that, that kid that sort of just like... everyone was like, oh, hey, we're going here, we're going here. But like I didn't really know them and I was I was afraid. It's just like I don't really know these people, but just being able to get up, go, knock on people's doors, saying hello. I mean that's that's the best way to that's the best thing I could have said to myself back then is just say hello to everyone. When I was a senior in high school, um, I was probably pretty nervous about losing my high school friends because I'd always heard that that happens. And I would tell my senior self right now that it's okay. Some friends are, you know, you're meant to lose and gain friends throughout your life and you're gonna meet new people and sometimes relationships and friendships will fade. But 
Um, if they're really meant to be your friend, they will be, and it'll stay. And I know that sounds cliche, but things work out, you know? And right now, I'm applying to jobs, and I've been getting a lot of good feedback, so I would just tell myself not to be nervous and that things do work out. Don't do so many extracurriculars. Extracurriculars look good, but your grades look better. Don't overload yourself because you'll burn out your first year. That's it. See you guys later when I'm donating a TV studio. Wait, <laughs> do you want to do my outro? Yeah, what is it? You just have to look in the camera and say, you're awesome, I'm awesome. You're awesome, I'm awesome. You're awesome, I'm awesome. You're awesome, I'm awesome, and Alyssa's awesome. You are awesome. I am also awesome. You're awesome, I'm awesome. You're awesome, I'm awesome. Wait a minute, that was weird, that was really weird. Hey guys, it's Alyssa, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was really, really different, really long, but I wanted to just prove something that no matter who you are, no matter what year you are, you're gonna go through college with nerves, and you're gonna make it out. You're gonna be good. Thank you to everybody who I asked to take the times out to help me film this, and um, you guys are awesome and I'm awesome. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and again if you have any questions, comments, concerns or anything you can always tweet me at listlips15 and I'll be sure to tweet you back and answer any questions that you may have or you can look me up on Facebook. I have a Facebook. Alyssa Explains It All is a Facebook. It's in the link below. Just click it and like it and get notifications for when I post new videos and maybe some little updates here and there. Maybe you can post a question on there. Whatever you want to do. Alright, see you guys around.